वेलकम टू साईराम त्रिपली यूट्यूब चैनल लेट अस सॉल्व वन प्रॉब्लम बेस्ड ऑन सीरीज रेजोनेंट सर्क्यूट एंड पैरेलल रेजोनेंट ट्रांसफार्मर राइट सो द क्वेश्चन इज लाइक दिस ए 100 केवीए 400 वोल्ट्स 250 किलो वोल्ट टेस्टिंग ट्रांसफार्मर द ट्रांसफार्मर रेटिंग दे हैव गिवन 100 केवीए एंड द इनपुट वोल्टेज इज 400 के वोल्ट्स एंड आउटपुट इज 250 किलो वोल्ट्स राइट so the 800 per 8 percentage of leakage reactance and uh, 2 percentage of resistance no l is given leakage reactance is given 8 percentage and leakage uh, uh, i mean resistance is given 2 percentage right 100 kva is a base the cable has to be tested at a 500 kilo volts using the above transformers as a resonant transformer 50 hertz if the charging current of the cable at uh, 500 uh, kilo volts is uh, 0.4 amps Find the series inductance are required and assume two percent is resistance for the inductor to be used and connecting leads. Neglect the dielectric classes of the cable. What will be the input voltage to the transformer? Right. So solution we will uh, discuss now. The maximum current uh, that can be supplied to the testing transformer is uh, uh, 100 in, divided by 250. 250 is a kV. Okay. And to 0.4 amps. So X is the reactance of the cable. X, if you want to calculate, X is equal to what? V C by R. the formula of uh, Ohm's law is equal to V by R. Similarly, V C by uh, X. So we'll get 1250 kilo ohm, and X is equal to what? Uh, percentage of X by 100 into V by I. So finally, we'll get uh, because 8 percentage is given. So 8 by 100 is 50 kilo ohm. All right. So I is given 0.4 and uh, 8 percentage 0.08 and voltage is V is this one I'll get uh, V by so this one is calc this calculation is easy right so V C by and then V by don't don't confuse this one is okay percentage of X by 100 because 8 percentage 0.08 that's it no uh, doubt uh, in that so at resonance X is equal to X L I mean uh, if it is a uh, uh, resonance occur. So the condition is actually uh, is equal to X. Hence the additional reactance needed. Mm, so one to five zero minus fifty, you'll get one thousand two hundred. Inductance uh, additional reactance is fifty hertz. So you'll get three eight two zero Henry. And the total resistance of ten hundred uh, kVA. That is two percentage plus two percentage four percentage because both primary and secondary. Okay. Hence the hence the ohmic value of the uh, resistance is. Four uh, percentage zero point zero four into two fifty by zero point four. I uh, mean V by. We'll get eight twenty-five kilo. Therefore, the excitation voltage E two secondary of the transformer is I into R. Uh, we'll get ten kilo volts. The primary voltage or supply voltage E one is ten uh, into four hundred divided by two fifty. We get sixteen volts. So input kilowatts sixteen by four hundred into hundred four point zero kilowatts. Four four kilowatts. Next, we have a Tesla coil. Tesla coil is an electrical design transformer. The circuit designed by the inventor Nikola Tesla. So already we know right. So the Tesla coil is Invented by Nikola Tesla, and it is used to generate the high voltage and low current, high frequency AC X uh, electricity. High frequency transformer is required. So Tesla coil usually, uh, even all the electrical electronics components uh, uh, would be present, right? Uh, because whatever small transformer will be there, that small transformer uh, uh, gives the output voltage or uh, like more voltage. So I mean high voltages. And high uh, low currents purpose, and the commonly used high frequency resonant transformer is a Tesla coil. A uh, Tesla coil is doubly tuned uh, resonant circuit. A uh, Tesla coil is a doubly tuned uh, resonant circuit. Keep it in your mind. The primary voltage rating is 10 kilovolts, and the secondary may be rated as a high as 500 to 1000 kilovolts. Output frequency range is uh, 50 kilohertz to 1 megahertz. Damped uh, solution can be obtained by using a Tesla coil. So the application of Tesla coil is X-ray generation experiment uh, in uh, lightnings and uh, other EDC etc. So next we have a Tesla coil uh, experiment. So supply we are giving equivalent circuit this one. So spark gap will be there. V1 is a voltage across the capacitor C1 and then uh, this one is a transformer L1 L2. That's a mutual coupling will, will be there. M and C2 is the output uh, capacitance and V2 is the output voltage. So finally we'll get the Uh, V2 is uh, like this. The waveform, uh, find some initially you get like this, um, and finally you get output like this, output waveform. 
and the primary is fed from the supply through the condenser C1 so supply is given through the condenser C1 spark gap G is connected across the primary is triggered and desired voltage spark gap is placed which induces the high self excitation uh, in the secondary spark gap G acts as a switch on the circuit uh, I mean spark gap G is acts as a switch on the circuit the primary and the secondary windings L1 and L2 are wound on the insulated uh, farmer with a no core air core and are immersed in a oil. The windings are tuned to the frequency of 10 to 100 kilohertz by kilohertz by uh, means of condenser C1 and C2. The output voltage V is the function of parameter L1, L2 and C1 and C2 uh, mutual magnesium. Usually the winding resistance will be small and contributes only for the damper of the oscillation. Right. So this is the uh, explanation you know like L1, L2 are the uh, primary and uh, uh, secondary reactants and C1, C2 is the primary and secondary uh, uh, capacitance uh, uh, charging. Um, usually winding resistance will be small and contributes damper oscillation. Finally we get V2, um, M is the mutual uh, uh, inductance, I mean mutual coupling or mutual inductance of uh, uh, this one two, uh, two winding transformer and V1 is the supply voltage and uh, sigma L1, L2, C1 by 1 by gamma 2 square minus gamma 1 square cos gamma 1 t minus gam, cos gamma 2 t the output voltage finally um, so v2 is the yeah, mutual uh, coupling v1 divided by say similarly adjust output voltage i have um, put here and where uh, so if you want uh, um, gamma uh, like sigma square so we'll get 1 by m square l1 l2 so this is m by root l1 l2 right uh, let's say um, this one m minus k square k is equal to m by root l1 l2 uh, root l1 l2 is a uh, equation and finally we'll get uh, gamma 1 2 is equal to w1 plus omega 1 square plus omega 2 square by 2 this or minus uh, so uh, the root of this value and omega 1 is equal to 1 by root of l1 omega 2 is equal to 1 by root of l2 c2 the peak amplitude of the center voltage V2 can be expressed as uh, V2 max is V1 E uh, root of L2 by L1. So finally E is equal to 2 into 1, 1, minus, 1 minus sigma uh, divided by 1 plus I, uh, A square minus 4 sigma A. So L2 C2 by L1 C1. So W1 square by W2 square. Uh, a more simplified analysis of the Tesla coil uh, may be expressed uh, by the considering that energy stored in the primary circuit in the capacitor C1 transferred uh, to C2 via magnetic coupling. The W if W1 is the energy stored C1 and W2 is the energy stored in C2, the efficiency of the transformer is uh, eta. Then uh, C W1 is half uh, then C1 V1 square. Uh, where eta is the efficiency of the transformer. Uh, half C2 V2 square uh, is equal to half C1 V1 square. Finally, we get V2 is equal to V1 into uh, root of uh, efficiency C1 by C2. So, advantages of Tesla coil. Advantage of Tesla coil, uh, the absence of iron core in the transformer enhancing uh, cost and size will be uh, uh, less. I mean like uh, if it is iron core is absent, the transformer size will be reduced, right? Uh, uh, based on the uh, transformer principle, iron core is itself a very big and uh, cost also will be decreased, right? Because the part of uh, core making of core, insulation of core, everything will be reduced. So uh, the, if it is absent, the cost and size will be reduced. And also we can, we can say losses will be uh, reduced and then increasing the efficiency, right? So core will, be, will not be there, core loss will not be there, what happens? So loss will be decreases and then efficiency will be increases, right? So similarly, uh, the mm, uh, this one, uh, I don't know, it's a more advantage. And pure sine wave output, less wave uh, for uh, distortion. I mean like pure sine wave will get it, there is no disturbance, there is no uh, harmonics are present. And the slow build up voltage over a few cycles and hence no damage due to switching surges. So, uh, the switching dam switching uh, uh, surges, I mean, like sudden current uh, uh, flowing, I mean, sudden electrons rushing and sudden uh, so, uh, sparking, it will not be there uh, in the Tesla coil because slow build up voltage, not uh, suddenly varying the voltage, slow build up voltage will be there. And, uh, Uniform distribution of voltage across the winding coils due to subdivision of coil stack into the number of units. So uniform distribution voltage will be there, not uh, uh, ununiform, like uh, not uh, non-uniform. So uniform uh, uh, distribution. There is no variation. It will make a uh, 
continuous and uh, um, uh, distributed uh, uh, voltage across the winding coil and subdivided coil so depend i mean even though for now all the units uniformly it will be spreading